This is Thailand's biggest night for hockey. This is Hockey Night in Thailand. <laughs> And hello and welcome to Hockey Night in Thailand. And this is Keith Mueller, your executive director. And joining us, Lance Parker. And I'm here. That's hello. me. And Scott Murray. Hello. <laughs> Scott, are you with us? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. He nodded. He he nodded. And <laughs> also, for the first time, we're going to try something new. We've got Greg, uh, Greg Beatty down. Hello, Greg. Can you hear us? Greg, do you hear us? Great. Yes, can you hear me, Keith? We do. So you can hear us. So we've got all three of you online right now. And uh, so, Greg, what's what's it like inside the glass down there? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm standing in the penalty box. It's commonly known as the sin bin. And it's a lot colder down here. Right <laughs> up there, and I'm just waiting to see who's going to visit me tonight. And all right. Any predictions on the penalties? Paid for. Yes, David Bourne, David okay. To get the first yeah. <laughs> okay. He's on the highway, now you brought the brownies, so if they do get it in the penalty box, they're going to get a free brownie. Is that where we are tonight? Yes, there's two tricks. We up, ate half of them in the first uh, game, so I don't know if we have enough for that. Now these aren't cannabis, cannabis right. brownies, but these in fact are birthday brownies, if I understand correctly. Yes. If yes, they were cannabis brownies, no yeah. If they were cannabis brownies, you might get a lot more penalties than anticipated, but thankfully not. All right, puck drop. Yeah, we free, have. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut you off right now. We'll be back to you in soon. KCG wins the draw. KCG versus Aware for our second game of the doubleheader tonight. Uh, we have number 12 with the puck. Puts it behind the net. And puck cycled out. Aware tries to break out, but the puck gets broken up. Oh. Matthew Mayard. Couldn't quite get a handle on it. Brendan Vick does, though. He's forced into the corner. Passes the puck with authority behind the net. Jan Isaacson's got it now. Shot. Tan Limpenpet. Rebound. Almost a wraparound by Isaacson. There it is. Oh. He wrapped it around, but he couldn't put that home. Interesting. Jan's going without the full cage, what he was wearing for a while after he got, that, uh, after he got hit in the teeth. Oh, but he's back, he's back to just the visor now. If you didn't mention that, I don't think I would have noticed. I wonder if that yeah. will make him play better. I asked him, in fact, last week, how does he like using the full bowl? And he said it gets foggy. Yeah. And I told him uh, there must be some sort of solution. There's oh. a shot. Oh! oh! Just wide. Stoddard had an open net, and he just banked it wide. He's going he's gonna to have nightmares with that one. Especially if they lose. Oh, look at Lampson putting on a show here. <laughs> He's just come back from Mongolia where he was one of the coaches for the under-18 team there. And he'll be shooting uh, on one of his coaching partners there, James yeah. Speck in oh, that. Very good point, very good point, Lance. They were all done up in their, in their Sunday going to church best in all the photos that we saw. Yeah. So now they're back in their regular hockey gear. Yeah, full of jovial cheer and brotherhood. Yeah, but now it's uh, all over. Taking in, all, into account all the Ulan Bator festivities. Ernesto Bauer cutting through a shot. Oh. Gabor says no. He is confident that puck is out as he hugs the ice. And do you remember the the cartoon character Foghorn Leghorn? No, I don't. Tell me about it, please. Well, I, <laughs> I think Keith Keith remembers. I that. remember. I didn't <laughs> Were you in a cave, like in your childhood, or how did you miss that? You <laughs> it's just that uh, Gabor has a striking resemblance to right. Foghorn Leghorn, both in appearance and audible uh, I'll say, I'll say. Uh, voice cut. All right, <laughs> Foghorn Gabor. Fog, Foghorn Gabor. I think that could stick. 
Well, it certainly fits. Get a little maple syrup on that guy and will definitely stick. There's David Bohr in the corner. Whoa. He's all alone. Nice oh. pass. Lampson, shot, and a goal. Nice feed from Bohr on that. Very nice look. Bohr took all the time in the world, got it set up, and put it right on Nick's stick. So that's a really nice setup from David Bohr. Yeah. KCG just go makes everything look so bloody easy, don't they? Oh, my goodness. I, I don't know how many goals they've got now. I think uh, closer to 100 goals on the season um, so far. I think they're going to crack 100 before we're all said and done in the regular season. Here they come looking for another one. It's Brandon Vick with the puck. Puts it towards center of the net. He does. And KCG unable to get a shot on net. With Yeen behind the net. Passes it to Devin. Devin gets the puck again. It's rolling on a stick. It doesn't matter as he shoots that puck and Gabor again tells you the referee the puck is not in the net. You'll always know when Gabor makes a save because he'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I think we might go to Greg here in a second. Uh, but meanwhile, Jan Isaacson behind the net. I thought Gabor was going to give a hug to Devin, but Devin <laughs> avoids the hug. Devin's about to become a dad, literally at any minute. Oh goodness! His well, wife is, is, <laughs> there was there was some thought that he might miss tonight's game, but I guess the 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 uh, birth has been delayed somewhat. Well, that's great. That is. Let's go down to Greg. Okay, Greg, what do you got? Well, it's a little lonely in the penalty box there. There's no penalties yet. They did talk to the referees before the game. And then they did a little we got a little technical trouble with you, Greg. <laughs> Sounds like he's on Mars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's a little bit around the metal. So, Greg or... Uh, Jin, why don't you guys go up, maybe up to the stands, or go across the ice and talk to some of the players in the uh, in the boxes, if you want, in the uh, player boxes. That'd I do see one fan in the stands, uh, safely behind the net, on the KCG side. Or go out to the barn, maybe. I think the barn is closed. Is the barn closed? Okay. Well, Stastny, will, will, it'll be open as soon as Stastny gets out there. True story. Now, what's interesting is we know a lot of these players have played for the Thai national team, but number 20, Roman Laren, has actually played for the Israeli national team. Oh, is so Roman out there tonight? Roman is there. Roman, Roman misses a lot of games because he lives in, uh, in Padia, but he's a, he's a very talented player. Oh. He's got all the skill in the world, and he's a big asset to that defense. They've got such a solid D as it is, but when Roman's there, it's even better. Whoa! Oh. the other way. Oh. Gabor has Gabor. not said no yet. Gabor was lucky on that one. Ernesto just had an open net, but he put it in Gabor's pads. He, he, got a, he was lucky. Lucky yeah. there. Gives Alex a little pat on the shoulder. Gives him a nice little thank you. Puck dropped. Aware wins it. Aware shoots it. Oh, foul. He oh. There. Oh, <laughs> I thought that puck was going to go in. Gabor has almost deflected that towards his own goal. Here and we go. Oh, oh. Who is that? Is that Wyatt? That might be Wyatt. That is Wyatt. Yeah. Tried to pass it to Wyatt's, Nick Lampson. Wyatt's a, got an interesting... He's a U.S. Marine. Right. I heard he's working at the embassy as yeah. a security guard. Yeah. And he's only going to be here for a few more months, unfortunately. He's going... Uh, I think he's b being shifted in June, which is too bad. Because he didn't, he didn't end up getting his gear here until about halfway through his tour. Yeah, he's a hungry little hockey player out there. No doubt about it. Great to Speaking have him on the Speaking of hungry ice. little hockey players, Ernesto... The, the the jitterbug <laughs> or cockroach or oh, no. <laughs> whatever. I mean, nobody irritates more people in this league than Ernesto. And he does it, this just does it naturally. But he's a good player. Yeah, he's yeah, the yeah. kind of guy that you, you hate to play against, but you want him on your team. Okay, he's a lovely guy off the ice. Yeah, right? he's, 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 he's such a sunny disposition when he doesn't have a hockey stick in his hand. <laughs> Poor guy, too. I remember seeing him try to do a player of the game interview one time, and he's struggling with the English language. I think uh, Brad Wilson's got a good joke about that, trying to get him to do the ABCs, and uh, Ernesto still couldn't get it out. But anyway, here is Nick Lampson. He's got Brandon Vick on the far side. They both crisscross through center. Lampson he looks. 
It's actually Jan. Oh, excuse me. I they look a lot alike. Okay. David Boomer Blomquist with the shot, and James Beck saves it. Okay, we're going to go down to Greg. Greg, are you ready? We're going to go down to you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we do. I see you, too. We're standing in the awareness pitch. We're going to have to with a few of the players. It's getting lonely in the penalty box because no penalties for all of them. So I'm hoping to get a few interviews over here. And when okay. the play stops, I'll, I'll stop to, to a couple of the players. Well, you're on along with it. We're on a split Absolutely. screen, so you can talk to somebody right now if you'd like. Absolutely. Heritage. Let me call the captain over. Yeah, if they have to jump on, just grab somebody else. Oh, Harrison's not having okay. any of that. He rejected Greg. Yeah, Harrison's got the next ship. We've got Eric Fowley here, number 13. Eric, how are you feeling tonight? Feeling good. Feeling good. Great Congress, yes. Uh, the ball looked like he got the place a couple times, but he was lucky to get the saves. And anyway, good luck to you tonight, Eric. Oh. All right, we'll check back in with you in a little bit, Greg. Good uh, job. I'm not sure. Oh, there's oh! the ball there. Oh, Harrison, the captain. Yeah. Now, the board's got to be looking for somebody to blame right now. Who's he, who's he <laughs> going to point the finger at? Who's he going to point the finger at? Oh, he might just see a reflection in the glass there. And I he does. I don't know. I don't know. It's it is anyway, me. Anyway, Harris, Harrison was right in the right place at the right time and did exactly what he was supposed to do. Yeah, that puck was fed from behind the net, and Harrison hammered it home. So, we got a 1-1. We got a barn burner here. A 1-1 one -one tie. About seven minutes left in the first stanza. All right. Here comes Harrison again. Got the well, puck on a stick. He looks to shoot. He shoots. Puck is deflected. Alex, KFC. No, there's Lamson. The puck. There's Nick. There's Nick. Yeah, Nick's looking one way, but he's skating the other. Mm. Gives the puck to Alex. Alex shot. Puck deflected by the D-man of aware. Now Nick played American college hockey for three years. He played for a team called Salem State. NCAA hockey. So he's a uh, very good pedigree. Oh, oh what a save what? by James Speck. Wow, there's Lampson's all over the place tonight. Again, again. all starts yeah. had opportunities galore tonight. There's Mancorn. Mancorn's always tricky with the puck. Look at that. Oh, but he's got too many men to contend with. Yeah, and but he's to always... Hold on. Uh, there was one year that... Remember that Mancorn almost won the scoring yeah, title by being a substitute? I sure do. Greg, who have you got with you now? Well, you know what? I want to get Devin Michael. Devin Michael's had a nice now. But we're talking to... I wonder if he's going to... I don't know what he's doing tonight. I think he said he's going to talk to Wyatt Tiford and how's he doing tonight? Uh, I'm just translating for you. We might have to do this in Morse code. And there again. is another goal. Oh, again, the same I, play as I before. Think, yeah, it's that same. <coughs> it's that Gabor's having a hard time getting over the right side to cover the space between the skate and, and, and the, the goal post. They've literally found his Achilles heel there. I, I think that was Nico who put that one in. But I'm not sure. I'll have to wait for Dom's announcement. All right. It would have been Nico Cadez. The only Filipino in the SHL. Here comes Dom with the announcement, and KCG with the puck. Oh, here's Matthew. It is. He's oh. got a race. He's got a chance. Oh, oh Gabor that, that was a good play. That, that was a good play by Gabor. Redeemed himself there. Yeah. Matthew's got a ton of speed. He's He's got to be one of the quickest guys in the league. Yeah, and Isaacson. Nice little sauce pass to Brandon, but Brandon can't get the shot off. What do you think, Lance? It looks like Brennan's beefed up, beefed up a bit. Eh? Let's like go back down to Greg. He's got more strength up in his upper body, his shoulders. Could be the shoulder pads. Greg, oh, who, be, who are you with be. now? Right. Well, I'll tell you what. I want to get the interview with Gavin Michael because his wife was about to give birth. And she was supposed to give birth a couple of days ago, I think. And I want to know what he's doing here. Oh, shot almost in. Gavin Puck is on the line. James finally figures out where it is. And there is no goal. There is no goal. Uh, yeah, baby also on the line, as you said, Greg. Uh, coming soon. Uh, 
I can't believe Devin chooses to be on the ice. I remember I De played with a guy too in one hockey That's game. That's dedication. That's dedication. Yeah. But also, he probably... Oh, here comes Nico once again. Puts on the brakes. Drops the puck back. And Brandon, looking a little bit beefier, as Scott Murray mentioned. It could be the shoulder pads. Jan with the shot. But he seems to have added a grit to his game as well. He's, he's playing a lot meaner, a lot tougher this year. Oh, oh, oh Harrison oh, again. Almost again, and again, it is! It is oh, again. again! The Achilles heel. I think they're just going to have to t put some tape between uh, Gabor's right skate and that far goal post, because that's three goals in the exact same spot. It is, and Gabor he's has looking, not moved he, He's since. looking for somebody to point the finger at, and he can't find them. <laughs> How'd that look down there, Greg? I, I, I I've think got the interview with Devin Michael, if you can do it now. Let's do it. Go no, for it, Greg. No, no, yeah, they don't no, have no, 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 let's not do it. Never mind. I got a little ahead of myself. All right, are you ready? Greg, are yes, you ready? ready? Yes, Go ahead. ahead. You're on, Greg. From now? Now. You know it's going to be a boy or a girl? A boy. And have you got a name for him yet? It's still in, uh, in discussion. Not Devin Jr.? Okay, that's no Devin Jr. Now, let Devin, let's see you get a goal out there tonight. Oh, you just got one. Oh, you're one step ahead of me, as always. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks, Greg. Thanks, here's, Devin. Here's Mancorn. Now, this would be a huge win for Aware if they can keep this up because KG is, CG has probably dominated the most of the season. What are the shots on net there, Lance? I can't see my it eyes are is, so bad. It uh, is 10 shots for Aware and 12 shots for KCG. So KCG is actually out shooting them. They are. But, again, Gabor's weak spot on that. Far post. Have He's you ever unable to. Have you ever noticed that before? It doesn't no. seem. No. Uh, it seems to be. Uh, no, it, it could be a jinx on the net. But all three in the same place, the very same place. There's Matthew. Oh, now that was. <laughs> That kid has got, I don't know, he's got lightning skill. He does. I mean, that, look at that shot. That was like an NHL release. Mm. And Gabor quickly snatches that from the air. So Gabor's done this. He's let in some, to be honest, some weak goals, and he's come back with some really, really outstanding saves. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the, um, let's just see if KCG can give him some uh, support here going into these last two stanzas. Well, there's Lampson, Lampson. Oh, oh, what a oh. save, James Speck. Speck is, he's on top of his game tonight. Yeah, he that, that kicked was that pad out and kept aware. Great pass by, by Lampson, too. Mm. Yeah, keep Here aware. comes up Lampson again. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Dipsy doodle. Oh, he just, too, oh, nobody there. Brandon oh. almost kept it in. God, that was a nice play. Yeah. That was a nice play. All these killers on the ice there's for Lampson. KCG. But unable yeah, to they're, convert they're, they're into the net. Tonight. They got all the. Oh, here it is. But the shot somehow goes wide of the net. And Tan Limpenpet was left all alone on the doorstep. Roman Lern puts the puck to the side. Tan fighting behind the net loses it. Here comes number 16 for Aware. That's Tor. Sometimes called Thor, but it's a hard T like Thailand, TH. Blocker save spec. Oh. So we got oh, five seconds left in the period. Chance for one, one shot, last shot. One shot. There it is. Oh, weak, 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 weak. Gets that. And I want to say a reminder to our network affiliates at the end of this period this is your local break. This is Thailand's biggest night for hockey. This is you sit down here? No. Hockey you Night in Canada. Okay. Wait, are these, reg are these regular? Yeah, regular, regular. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is breaking news from ThailandTV.news. Now all the Thailand news is in one place. The latest reports from around the clock and around the world. Breaking Thailand news from all the world's top news sources, translated into 11 languages and updated 24 hours a day. 
Here's Ali with more. ThailandTV.news has it all. The latest news, weather and sports updates. Plus, up to the minute events listings and fun things to do in Thailand. And that's not all. There's also entertainment, lifestyle and travel news, including the latest visa information. If it's happening in Thailand, you'll find it here at ThailandTV.news. It's all here at ThailandTV.news. All the latest news, weather, sports, they even cover ice hockey. It's all done at ThailandTV.news. Yes, it's all the Thailand news, all in one place. And we are back live for the second period. I'm seeing um, Vanessa Pisani, I believe that's Devon's wife, mother-to-be, left a comment wondering why are the why is the feed so terrible I apologize Vanessa for that I can recommend if you scrub back or if you rewind maybe a minute or two it should be a smooth feed and anybody else having trouble watching this game live uh, pause it or go back uh, a few minutes and it'll be a good smooth feed we have a contest to name, name Devin's kid Pardon me, Scott, I heard half of that sentence. Wondering if we should have a contest to see what the viewers think that we should name Devin's son. I, I think uh, Lance is an outstanding name. <laughs> <laughs> or Sir Galahad. I think Scott Lance, uh, Dev, uh, Scott Lance Michael is what we should. <laughs> let's, just, let's just name Devin's kid, all right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Put in your comments what you think is name the what kid. What should we name Devin's son? That's right. All right, Vanessa, I hope you appreciate uh, that comment and those earlier tips. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got it right. Okay, face mm -hmm. off to the far side of James Okay, Speck. buddy. Aware has won it. Gabor's gone silent. Brandon's all alone. Oh, he passes it off. Oh, what a I save did. by James Speck. He was down and out, but he had that leg extended and kicked that puck aside. Matthew Maillard passes oh. it to the side. Specs getting in their head now. Oh, look at that Here pass! We go. Nick Lampson, shot oh. and a goal! There we go! He knows where to go on Speck. That's the second goal. Again, the same side that he scored on Speck earlier to but open up the scoring. Who passed? Who, who was that beautiful, beautiful oh, pass? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but it was a lovely give and go there. Might have been Roman. Yeah, I mean, it looked like a Roman pass. Roman was looking for that Roman man up front. And Nick Lamson was there. And he put that puck in the basket. Here comes Jan Isaacson again. Looks to make a pass. He does. David Blomquist behind the net. That's why Tiford, I think. Or which team is Tiford on? Tiford's on KCD. Maybe it was Wyatt who passed him to that puck. Okay. Now it's Brandon. So we got a whole new game now. Okay. Do you notice how quiet Gabor's gone? <laughs> no. No, because I just heard his voice a moment ago. So not yet. But it, it doesn't have the same... The same reverberation. Yeah, the same. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the windows aren't shaking. <laughs> Well, it comes and He's goes. Like, it's like that ACDC song. I mistakenly gave him the microphone in the first game as he came up to say hello. <laughs> and he ended up cheering the, the team. Go! Shoot! Run! Run! Uh, <laughs> I've still never been able to get a reason for the run, run. I guess it's easier to pronounce than skate, perhaps. What about just go? Because <laughs> it sounds too much like goal, I guess. I, I guess. So, here's Alex Felp looking L to pick up the puck. Listen me, lads. Listen me. <laughs> oh, he gets quite affectionate with me. He'll call oh, me Lenzi. 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 Oh, my God. Lenzi, baby. Come Lenzi, here. he wants to give you Azerbaijani citizenship. I, I often worry he's going to, like, get in close and give me a kiss. He's oh. so sweet and romantic there, there when, he gets, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, when he gets this, in the mood. Look, this is... This is uh, Oh, what a stop. PG channel. We got we to gotta leave it there. Let's do that. And let's go on with the game. James Beck making a great glove save on Here's Alex Nick Phelps. Lampson. Alex Phelps is, is very quietly one of the best defensemen in the league. Understated. He just gets the job done day in and day out. 
Yeah. And, and uh, a native of Kentucky, by the way. Oh, Eric Fowley was in alone. Eric, Eric passed Fowley. by Mancorn, but yeah. Uh, Eric just fanning on that. Eric's from... Um, been around, but he spent a lot of time in South Carolina. It's interesting. We've got oh, Boar goes face first into the ice, and he's holding his hip. Somebody hit him? Uh, yeah, it was an accidental hit. It wasn't an intentional hit. I think Dave was looking to make a move. Uh, instead, he busted. Let's go down to Greg. Something. All right. I hope Greg's not underwater this time. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, he's still underwater. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody get that guy a scuba tank. <laughs> get the snort. If we can get the board through the glass and into the microphone. But there's okay. a boxing down here at the moment. He's got I think the we can pick him up through the glass. <laughs> so Greg was saying he's behind Gabor. Uh, worst angle possible if you've ever been at the rink. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you'll get a crack there, and a half there. There have been people that have been treated for trauma. <laughs> Harrison, <laughs> TSD, <laughs> he's coming in. He's got some space. Gabor, they're poke still check. In, they're still in counseling sessions. <laughs> Nick Lamson almost loses the puck. Oh, that, that, well, that looked like uh, a hook to me. Uh, I don't know. They were lucky to get one out. Nick is just still putting on a stick handling display in the corner here. Yeah, Roman's lost his helmet. Gabor skated the length of... I don't uh, or at least half the length of the ice. All we can for hear not. him up here, Greg. How was it down there? Are you? Uh, Where's he going? Oh, yeah. He's not going home yet, is he? I think it's a penalty. Greg, you want to run over to the penalty box and see what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this could be time to tie it. Oh, they got two guys in the penalty box. Greg, why don't you run oh. over to the penalty box? It's a five on three. My God. Okay, Greg is going to go oh, join yeah, the guys Greg, in yeah, the yeah, box. Yeah, I, I, did, I had Greg muted. I'm sorry about that, Greg. My, uh, I got a lot of things going yeah, on up here. Yeah, he was so animated there. I was wondering, was he, is he doing a mime show? No, that was uh, your director's fault. Sorry about that. No worries. We probably couldn't hear him anyway. Uh, now, based on past experience. But, yeah. I think Casey. I got a lot of buttons up here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a pinball machine. What happened? There? Oh, here we go. There's Roman. Roman keeping his cool. Looking for a man to pass it to. He's five got a on few. three. Five on three. Well, there's there's Isaacson. Oh, tic tac. Now James made a great save there. Yeah, you could hear that just thump off his padding. Look at these guys. They're so smart with the puck. Oh, another oh, save again. by Speck. James is just keeping him in this game. This should be tied up. Great positioning by James Speck. What's going on here? I think the net is off. off. Well, the net's off. <laughs> Whether right. that was intentional or right, not, Greg, that's going to you. That's going to okay, kill Greg, some time in the penalty. Bin. Report. Who's in for what? All right. the, oh, I think he's bad. still okay, muted. Go ahead, Greg. Start again. <laughs> Sorry. I, I muted you. Go ahead. Okay. okay. The first penalty. You've got two seconds left. Now get out of here. Get out of here. You still got one guy in the box. Greg, the motivational Gabriel speaker in the box. Off. Gabriel just came on. <laughs> he doesn't really want to be interviewed. We've got the second penalty. But somehow, KCT has not got the puck in the net despite having the two man advantage. So is that James is just too good. I hope I didn't jinx him there. Is that mancorn in the box? It is. Oh. It was. Or <laughs> All right, puck. Thank you, Greg. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let us know if you got him to talk to him. We'll bring you back. Okay. Oh, here's Gabe Roscoe. Oh, nice move, move Roscoe. Oh, and it's just a little too many moves, and he, he out deked himself on that. Roscoe. Casey. KCG the other way. Jan Isaacson puts on the brakes, passes it to Lampson, back to Isaacson, off the skate, to the stick. And to the front of the net, and nobody there to bank that in. Phelps winds up, shot through traffic. Speck kicks that aside. Puck cleared to neutral zone. Alex Phelps looks around. Oh, out of the box is Mancord pouncing on the puck. Comes up with it, and he crosses the line. He takes a shot. Oh. Big rebound. That net Big looks rebound. a little bit off. Nobody's noticed yet. About halfway through the second period here. Oh, Tan tried to feed that in There's front. There's Yin to Nico. There goes Mancorn out of the box now. 
So oh. aware, aware successfully killed off that two-man advantage to KCG, and that's no easy feat. That is no easy feat. No kidding. Aware still holding on to the lead. 3-2. 7.45 left in the second period. We're about halfway through this contest. Matthew Maillard with the puck picking up speed. Takes a shot. Gabor stops it. Rebound just sits in front of him for a little bit. And finally it's cleared out. But not very far as Aware dumps that behind and around the net. Eric Fowley. Yeah, Eric Fowley tries just to pick up the puck but couldn't. Just saying we have some... We've got a few American players in the, in, the, in the league, but they don't come from hockey-playing states like Minnesota or Massachusetts. They come from Kentucky and South Carolina, which is very interesting. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of interesting, I met uh, Ben Kleinische's father tonight and his mother, too, just briefly. He's a pilot, isn't he? I didn't get into that. Oh, Speck just gets wiped out. He told out. me he was a pilot. Ben told me a long time ago that he was a pilot. Like what a shot. What a save. Yeah, Roman just let tease it up. That puck was just flying through the air. Roman just looks like a hockey player. He does. And he also looks like a tomato. A tomato? <laughs> He's a bit red. Oh. Uh, All right, we're sunlight. gonna go down to Greg in in the barn. Greg, okay. you're on. Uh, okay, listen, I'm in the barn. I'm in Statue's barn, and some of the guys are here to play in the first game. There's a shot. And uh, half fast. Guys, what happened out there tonight? Who's that? Uh, I just heard blur, 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 yeah, blur. Yeah, yeah. I have to take your hand away from your mouth. That would help uh, on that. Who's who's inebriated over there talking like that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Casey G's with the puck. Okay. Let's Looking to capitalize. Go ahead, Greg. Okay, we've got the new president here. John Kanas is John. Tell us what you thought of the first game. One, father can't get happy, but it's a bit of easy to get a few to keep going. And this is the best. Scott is gone afterwards. What a save. Another oh, save. Oh, Gabor! Lights out. Gabor trying to redeem himself for some early week goals has made some. It looked really solid this period, actually. All right. Okay, okay. Let, let, let's, let's go back to Greg. Greg, go ahead. Okay, and how, how about the donuts? Have you tried your donuts in here yet? Oh, the cookies. Anybody out there, stop here. Stop here. Watch the game. Great. Fun is great. Beautiful. Chill. Hot the day. Great. Of course, this is a nice coffee. You played it tonight. I think you think you scored a goal. We won, but I didn't get a goal tonight. All right, next week. Next week. Okay, thanks a lot, John. Cheers. Goes Nick, Alrighty. Nick Thank Nick you. Oh, Nick. Oh, there it was. Again. Beauty but save by what, Speck. What an effort by Lampson, though. Oh, yeah. That was sweet. End to end. We're seeing some really exciting hockey tonight. Definitely. Harrison's putting on quite a show. Oh, oh, oh I don't know. Did that go off his mask? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't hear it hit the mask. I think it might have got his uh, shoulder or chest protector. Jeez, Harrison almost had his second goal of the night. Yeah. Oh, that is in the net. Oh, Harrison. Just what a I, lovely tip. Literally two seconds after I said that, Harrison scores. Yeah, that was a perfect tip as Gabor was leaning a little bit forward. That puck was passed to the net. And a nice soft tip up off the backboard and into the net. Harrison's got a big smile on well, his face now. That's got to that's gotta give Aware more confidence heading into the third period. All right. All right, let's go down to Greg. All right, let's go down and listen to uh, whatever you can hear there. He's going to be talking the the, uh, the dog. Take he it away, Greg. Goes. Greg, you're on. Go we ahead, got Greg. We've got one of the best hockey fans here. We've got one of the best hockey fans here. This dog is here every game. i got to admit, he's not interested right now. Correct? Not as, not as entertainment. But let's see if he's got anything to say. How about this game? <laughs> bow, wow, wow, yippee -yi Well, ask what he thinks about cats <laughs> and squirrels. How about the cats? Have you chased any cats today? Oh. Now the puck, the puck was yeah. loose, but the referee, the referee didn't see it. So yeah. the players can argue all they want, but once the referee loses Got sight it, of the thanks, puck, Greg. that's it. 
Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the ref had lost sight of that, and he thought he was making the right call, but it wasn't. I think this is a common theme. I don't know if uh, for refs around the world, but certainly refs at this rink. That's happened to me on multiple occasions where <coughs> it looks like I may have the puck from a certain angle where otherwise the puck has escaped me. Um, so I appreciate that errant whistle, but uh, if you're an offending team trying to put that puck in the net, it's not so good. Jan Isaacson tried to put that puck in front, couldn't. Here comes Aware. And crossing into the CM or sorry, the KCG zone, but they can't get very far. As Jan turns it the oh, other way. Nice right sauce pass. Tan Limpenpet shot oh. block save. Speck. Keeping that puck out. If you're gonna score on Speck, you really gotta work for it. Yep. That was the same spot where uh, Lamson had scored, and he almost scored another one there too on that side. Lamson has got a couple on that blocker side on Speck. And Tan was looking for that same uh, secret sauce, but couldn't quite put that in. Here comes Mancorn, picking up the puck, circling around in his zone. Oh, Gets that's going to be a up. trip. That's going to be a trip. And Stoddard, Stoddard didn't mean it, but it is a trip. Oh, oh, now that should be a... And so, about a minute and 20 seconds left in the second period. Aware is going to get a man advantage here that will extend into the third period if, unless they score. All right. And Greg is standing by in the penalty box to, uh, to greet the uh, offender. To, to greet the offender. And let's go down to Greg. Greg, you're on. Nope. He's got uh, Dom to compete with. Frozen. The penalty box. Go ahead, Greg. Can you're you on. Can you hear me up there, guys? Yes, okay, we do. Okay, listen, I'm doing it. I'm on the meet and greet team here. KPG just got a penalty. Paul Stoddard's in penalty box. Paul, was it a fair call? Yeah, I was a lazy player on my part. You know, I could have kept, kept my feet moving, but I just stuck my foot down here. So, yeah, I think it was a good call. Okay, there's a confession if I ever heard one. Guilty uh, as charged. Gu guilty as charged. Does he get a brownie? Guilty. Do you have the brownies? Or do we leave them up here? Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. I do have one, one cookie left. And I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it over to the bench because I don't have it here right now. Oh, okay. But I'm gonna go visit Paul over on the bench, and he'll get his cookie. He'll get his penalty cookie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank Luckily, you. it's Thanks, the last Greg. cookie because otherwise that penalty box will just keep getting fuller mm. and fuller. Oh, we have a commercial break. So a commercial break. So a reminder to our network affiliates. This is your local break. This is Thailand's biggest night for hockey. This is Hockey Night in Bangkok. This is breaking in news Thailand, from ThailandTV.news. Now all the Thailand news is in one place. The latest reports from around the clock and around the world. Breaking Thailand news from all the world's top news sources, translated into 11 languages and updated 24 hours a day. Here's Ali with more. ThailandTV.news has it all. The latest news, weather and sports updates. Plus, up to the minute events, listings and fun things to do in Thailand. And that's not all. There's also entertainment, lifestyle and travel news, including the latest visa information. If it's happening in Thailand, you'll find it here at ThailandTV.news. It's all here at ThailandTV.news. All the latest news, weather, sports, they even cover ice hockey. It's all done at thailandtv.news. Yes, it's all the Thailand news, all in one place. Here we are back at the rink. It is the second period. It is at the Thailand International Ice Hockey Arena. It is aware versus KCG. It's Lance Parker, Scott Murray, Keith Mueller up in the broadcast booth bringing you all the action. And Greg Bra Beatty running around. Oh yes, Greg Beatty. And here he is. Oh, he's literally here. <laughs> he's over our shoulder. Well, we might be There's able to hear Man him better. Mancorn. Oh. Oh, Ernesto trying to cause trouble behind the net. Unable to. And here comes Brandon Vick. Squeezes through. Tries to get that shot on that blocker side, but unable to. Yeen. 
passes it to nobody. And the puck gets dumped back down to the aware zone. Oh, Greg, you're here. Here we go. Here we go, man corn again. Oh. Circles behind the net. Looks for a pass. Gets that puck taken off his stick. Bernesto. Back to stick. And back to the line. Fowley. Bernesto and Mancorn. It's like Yeen winds up. Shot. Heckle and Jekyll. <laughs> Heckle and Jekyll. <laughs> Fowley winds oh, up. Oh, nice play. Good setup. Thor, Thor. Great, great shot. Oh, here we go. Brandon, will, will Yeen catch him? Nope. He oh, won't. Oh, I don't know. That was a good play by... That could have... Looked clean to me. Yeah, that no was clean. It that was a tough... But Yeen made a good play. Yeah. And Brandon, too, with that puck protection, he uh, almost got through. Oh, nice pass there by Roman. There he is Roman. again. Tape to tape. Oh, oh, oh he doesn't. He gets oh, through oh, Yeen. Oh, oh, but he can't get through James. He, he used up all his uh, energy making the move. Mancorn, no look past the Fowley. Fowley to Nick Cadiz. Cadiz to Jan. Jan spins around him. Tries to go through a few guys. Does. Gets through. He puts on the brakes. Cuts What's in front. He, he shoots. Oh. Speck. Sees that all the way. All the way and gloves it out of his hand. Greg. I'm is your microphone working now? Yes. I'm back up in the broadcast booth. Oh, so nice uh, to I hear you I was roaming around. And you saw me very animated standing behind <laughs> Gabor. I was trying to heckle Gabor. And I was trying to see if we could hear him through the glass onto my microphone. But the action wasn't down in his end, except for that one time he made a beautiful save. He did the splits. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, uh, he made a lot of great saves down there. Uh, oh, one of my favorites was the double glove save. Here's a shot by Bohr, just wide of the net. David Borat, just missing. Matthew Maillard, the other way. Tries to pass it to Nick Cadiz, but Nick didn't quite have enough speed. And Puck is errantly forced down towards the aware zone. Gabe Roscoe picks it up. Squeaks it out. Oh! oh little bump. Wyatt got bumped by uh, Matthew there. And Wyatt was okay with that, giving Matthew a nice little friendly tap on the shin pad saying, hey, no problemo. But and speaking of no problemo, look at Nick Lampson go through everybody and almost getting that puck through James Speck. So we should mention that uh, KCG's using two substitutes tonight, that being Wyatt and Wyatt Tiford at forward and David Boomer Bloomquist on D, whereas Aware is using three subs. They're using Thor, Yeen, and Mancorn. And those, those three have been somewhat regular subs for them over the last six weeks or so as they've been missing a lot of their players due to either suspension or injury. Right. And there's one sub that they'll never be able to get, I heard last week on the broadcast, Hideki Nagayama chooses not to represent yeah, Aware. Yeah, it probably doesn't want it known. But th the thing is, oh, I think that in <laughs> early in the year, Aware wasn't playing that well. If they saw tonight's game, I mean, I think he changes tune because Aware has played very, very sound hockey tonight. Having Gabriel on the back end helps them a lot because he's missed a lot of games. He lives in Padilla and unfortunately hasn't been able to miss, miss is, has missed half the games. But if he was here, he's a big hulking presence and he helps them a lot on that back end. Yeah, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve too uh, with the great stick handling and um, <coughs> like wonderful Mike, reach. Mike White is also on this team and he's missed a lot of games. Corey Day with injury, Oleg being suspended, Gabriel missing games. They, they, a lot of their core players have been, or, or have been missing, so as a result, they've had a tough season. Right, and uh, did you mention Patrick Forstner is also missing? Yes, that's, that's true. We're still trying to figure that one out. Yeah. Hopefully he'll be back, but he, he got, I think with Patrick, it's more a case of uh, frustration than anything else. Sure, yeah. I mean, I, I, oh, here's Harrison. Oh. Going for the same place. Couldn't put it home that time. <coughs> Jan Isaacson tries to bank that up the boards. Couldn't. Fowley to... Oh, again, almost on that short side. Puck kept in at the line. 
And just tipped out. No, I think Ono went to Mongolia, didn't he? He sure... Oh, no, I, I Ono think he went was to in Africa. Mo he was in Africa? Yes, he did go to Africa. Okay, sorry. I got confused between who was who was in Africa and who was... There was two a yeah. under-18 teams. One went to the A team, supposedly went to South Africa, while the B team went to Mongolia. Yeah, Ono and McAleer went to Africa. Uh, okay. And uh, I'm not sure if we had any SHL skaters skating in Mongolia. Of course, we had the, the coach trifecta uh, with Ken, uh, James, and Nick. But yeah, no. Ono was uh, representing the A team in South Africa uh, along with Jimmy McClear and I'm not sure who else uh, from the SHL. Uh -huh. Louis, who plays regularly with us, Chini was, was playing in a Mongolia and even yes. got player of the game one game. Yes, and a goal now here as goes well. Wyatt. Wyatt and Nick together. Nice pass. Oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. Trying to be too fancy there. Ten minutes left in the game. KCG's going to have to score soon. But Aware's really, really making them uh, work for it today. Yeah, like you say, having Gabe Roscoe on that back end makes a big difference. Here comes Mancorn. He's okay, looking good play, one good way. play by Alistair Fawcett. We have two, we, ha we have two British-born players in the league. Alistair Fawcett playing now, and Adam Simpson playing for. Uh, C.M. Mandalay. Great Britain. Greatly represented. No, that was not the good... Sometimes, I, I think, sometimes KCD's trying to be a little bit too fancy. They've got so much skill, but maybe sometimes a pass too many. Tiford's played a good game tonight. Their substitute forward. No doubt. Shoot no doubt. it! Nice drop pass. Tiford. Tiford. Wyatt Tiford. Unable to... Oh! Here's Mancorn, all alone. Oh, really good play by uh, Roman at the end that lift his stick, and Mancorn couldn't get all the wood on that. Good defensive play by Roman. Definitely. Mancorn hangs his head as he skates off to the bench, looks for a change. But you were mentioning, Scott, earlier how he almost won the scoring title that one year. As In a fact, substitute. didn't he win it but was disqualified from being crowned the champion because he was playing two games a night? Double the games everyone else? Well, he, he wouldn't have won it, but he, he did he did come quite close to winning it. Okay. And then they kind of made a rule after that that you weren't allowed to, but to play two games. But there's some times where I actually need a player to play two games. So nobody plays as, as many double headers as, as Mancorn did. But even Mancorn has played about three double games this year. Nice stop. Just sometimes back. guys get sick at the last minute. Um, and, and we need a player that's played in a, in a previous game to, to jump in so that there's not a forfeit. Yeah. When Mancorn was robbed of the scoring title that one year, I think Greg's been robbed of the stats where he's played two games in the SHL and has won both of them. But I have yet to see his goalkeeping stats uh, amongst the goalkeepers. Perhaps because he'd be dominating over all of us. I don't think so. <laughs> but I'm just happy to be out there from time to time. I remember well, that yeah, happened. Greg's get the pinch hitter of the year award for sure. <laughs> yes. I remember that happened one year when Igor Sikora, oh, shot. I think uh, Gabor got a glove, uh, piece of his glove on that. Gabor settled down. He's, he had a rough first period, but he's really settled down these last two stanzas. Yeah, I could hardly hear him up here anymore. Yeah, once he shuts up, he plays better. Here comes Brandon. Looking for the outlet. Tan the man gets the puck. And it's Yeen. Puts it up to Harrison. Harrison's got a couple of guys with him. Oh, three men with him now. And he, he passes it to one of them. Oh, they almost put that in again on the same side. Oh, and there it is. The Achilles heel now is cut. Gabor's Once angry more. now. Gabor. But it's the same spot, Lance. It's that it very is. same right-hand corner. That's just, as you mentioned, you're calling it his Achilles heel. And it's just, they just keep slicing away at it. Now I can hear Gabor. Now he's, now he's back. I now think he's, he's swearing in Hungarian. If you wanted to learn some Hungarian, now is your time. Well, you never know if it's Hungarian, Azerbaijani, Russian. German. Mock, mock English, German, <laughs> French, Ukrainian. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I think he speaks about six languages. I think it's 17. And can swear in nine. Swear, yeah, at least in nine. <laughs> 
But this is interesting because aware this is going to be a really good. Uh, if Aware can keep this up, this is going to be a big, big emotional lift for them. No doubt about it. And it's it. also going to make KCG think, because the way the league works, the, the team that finishes first, which is KCG right now, gets to pick their opponent. And they're, they're going to probably think twice now about whether they want to play Aware. Yeah, with the best of three for the semifinals. Oh, tip in front. <laughs> Puck barely stays out. As KCG almost collected another goal there. Thing is, any team with Jan, uh, Nick, and Roman it, it can come back at any given time. Look at that. Look, oh! And you know, Sam Mandalay is no slouch, even though they haven't won a lot of games uh, throughout yeah, the season. But you know, they've got Stastny, who's I think ranked fifth in overall scoring, Friesen, who's ranked first in overall scoring. I gotta be honest though, Lance, I mean, I'm on that team. It's a one two squad. You know, once you get past those hey, two. Hey, you scored a goal tonight. Yeah, but that's only because uh, I, that's <laughs> only I yelled a lot. <laughs> and you uh, pound. Oh, there's a wide oh, open net. Oh, what a, what a reach by Speck. Putting out that leg and that arm. He's lost his stick. He's got his arm on it. This could be Speck's best game for sure. So far, so good for James Speck as he picks up that stick. Oh, backhand from Boer. No look shot on the net. KCG still in control. Boomer booms that shot. Tor kicks that puck aside. I think that was Tor. Oh no, that was Fowley, excuse me. Lamson looks to sneak through. Tries to wrap it around. Well, er Can't. Ernesto causing Ernesto trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ernesto is causing so much trouble that that guy just fell over on his own accord. That was Paul Stoddart trying to get a piece of Ernie. Yes. Ernesto just being Ernesto. Yeah, Scotty, I got a question about your the goal that you scored. Yeah. I saw it from up here, and it looked like a very good goal. But there seemed to be some sort of controversy okay. after the goal. What happened? Well, what happened was the ref. What what I when I initially put my hands up, I thought I scored. I hadn't scored. It okay. Did. No, it I thought you did. No, not originally. I didn't. We, the puck, we saw the puck was out. Looked like it went in from well, this angle. Well, apparently yeah. nobody on the ice thought it went in. But the thing was, the referee didn't call the whistle, so the play just kept going. I just kept banging yeah. at it, and eventually it went in. Yep. So they were all screaming, no goal, no goal. And I said, no, it's a goal because the referee didn't blow the whistle. So in one of the few rare occurrences, I was right. And, 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 and I mean, the ref, to be honest, should have blown the whistle a lot more er earlier, but he didn't. So the play was still on, and I just kept banging at it, and eventually it just went in. Well, we'll have to see it on the replay, but I think the first, the first shot it, was actually it, the it, in. It, it might have, it, it might have, but, but I, didn't, I couldn't say for sure, but I do know eventually that I did score. Whoa, what a nice, lovely play by Mayard. Oh, As here we Nick go, three on one, three on one for where? Oh, puck deflected up, nice defensive play by Brandon Vick. Here comes Isaacson, he's got the puck on a stick. He's getting closer to the net, he's circling around. He is in front. Far in front, gives it to Roman. Roman back to Jan. Jan winds up, he shoots, and it is stopped by Yeen and deflected wide. Fowley's got that puck, and he dumps it he up. Are, to he's got it. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This or is going to be. Nyard, sorry. Breaks on. So much time. And it's in the net. Oh, that is Yeen. Oh, my goodness. I'm so confused, but Yeen stopped. Oh. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> Bam. You're not going to want to be near Gabor in the dressing room after that one. <laughs> Ian was alone in front for about five about five minutes. I don't even think I want to be in the same building. <laughs> it's a long they ride just, home. They just abandoned him. They just left him alone there. I don't think I've ever seen that in the SHL ever, where a guy's had so much time to now, play with the goalie like I, that. I got to be honest, that was that was a weak play by KCG. They, I mean, he had, five, he had at least five seconds there. Gabor wow. makes that stop wow. there. I'll tell you what, Lance, I'm glad you didn't uh -huh. ask for any predictions before this game because <laughs> I would have never predicted a 6-2 to two score with two minutes left in the game. This is awesome. Not in aware aware. Is awesome. Two, right? I know I sound like a broken record, but I don't see uh, Jesse Starosta out there. No, uh, Jesse, bef earlier, earlier in the day, Jesse's neck was bothering him again. He's got this recurring neck injury, yep. and uh, he, he, he bailed. So he couldn't, he couldn't play, he didn't want to risk it. So yeah. that's why Wyatt Tiford was a last minute sub. Because Jesse's been uh, hurting. He got the injury well, about four weeks ago, I think, and it just maybe he rushed back too soon. 
Yeah, a little more than four weeks ago. Sorry, uh, was it at the Mekong? Mekong? It wasn't Mekong. 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 Okay. Yeah. Was it? No, it was before the Mekong. Yeah, before that was the, the Mekong question. Cup. It was before yeah. the Mekong. Because it was a question of him even playing for the Mekong. Exactly. So it was before yeah. that. Oh, here's a wear again. And a shot and a goal. Gab now, this Roscoe. is interesting. We got 6-2 aware. Now, these are the games that KCG usually wins by these scores. 7-2 now. 7-2, sorry. 7 and look two. at the shot differential on net. James Beck has been a big difference in this game. Shutting yeah. down Aware's goal score, or excuse me, shutting down KCG's goal scoring opportunities. 40 shots on net for KCG, only two goals. Or the other way, we have 30 shots on net and seven goals for Aware. And, and though Gabor has let in some weak goals on his right side, he's also made a, a lot of really nice saves. Today. We have to be fair on that. No doubt. I just want to make sure I thank everybody on our production crew, including Keith Mueller, uh, our camera ladies who are out here tonight, the three of them, uh, who happen to be either Ellie or Portanya uh, and again. Sonia, and a goal for Aware. I was reading my card. Was that goal scored on the same side? M Millard, Millard picked the top right-hand corner. That, he went the other side this okay, time. Okay, okay. That kid, I, I, he's just got great skill. You know, I don't know, but Aware's looking like a dark horse all of a sudden here. Yeah, to be honest with you, I think each team uh, in the playoffs will be a threat. But, I mean, this team has been counted out totally, and they put on a whole different show tonight. Well, counted out by some, I suppose, but, I mean, up here in the broadcast booth, you know, we get a, a, a wide perspective of what they can do. And uh, James Speck is coming through. The goal scorers are putting the pucks in the net. And here they are again with oh. another opportunity. But they'll just leave it. I, I'm not really sure what's up with the KCG defense now. The, the aware guys seem to have all kinds of time in front of the net in the crease. It just seems funny. Well, Roman is up near center ice. Yeah, I guess. Uh, and that's it. That's all. That's all she wrote, boys. Okay. Here Great we team. are. Great oh, job, Scotty, boys. Uh, before you go. <laughs> A little why why what's up <laughs> hey so hey Great. thank you for tuning in uh, all of you who are watching live uh, assuming you could fight through the feed okay I don't really have any but uh, <laughs> every, everybody's <laughs> but your fans Scotty <laughs> you're Mr. Hockey the dogs aren't watching at home no but Lance you did a great job it's hey, really you. really hard to Replace Adam because he's so good, but oh he goodness. did a bang up job tonight. I appreciate bang up, that. Bang up I think so. Both games, All right. both games, Lance. Hey, yeah, it's great to be. Okay, let's so go that, listen. Let's go listen to Gabor. Sorry, that was a game and a half. Uh, so I just want to say thank you again for everybody, all you guys, for giving me a hand. Yeah, uh, maybe next time we'll we'll have that uh, that connection fixed. Otherwise, hey. We'll see you guys next week here, same time, same place. Thanks for coming out, eh? Okay. Good night. Bye-bye. This has been a presentation of ThailandTV.tv, winner of the SHL Golden Mike Award for Excellence in Broadcasting for Hockey Night in Thailand.